Holy Jesus Christ, we just got like the best direct ever from Nintendo that they've like ever done in their whole life. <laughs> Not really, it was, it was, like, it was really. pretty average. But that's yeah. okay because we're going to go over it anyway. That's right. You know the drill. Nobody asks for our opinion, but we're going to give it anyway. So, where do we start? Probably from the start. <sighs> it was actually a good intro because look at this badonkadonk. <laughs> I'd love to spray my paint all over that thing. <laughs> Hit that like button if you would like a piece of that ass. It was definitely an attention grabber, mm. but it actually looked really cool. So it was some more Splatoon 3 content, like a single player sort of a deal. It looks very futuristic. A lot more single player action, which is good because... It's never a bad thing. It's yeah. not Splatoon's major draw card, but is anyone ever annoyed that it's there? No. No. Mario vs. Donkey Kong was like the main speculation or leak heading into this direct. So there we go, straight up the second thing. Here it is. We got it. I'm kind of annoyed it's not a new game in the series and it's just a remake of the first one. It would have been more exciting, but maybe they're like testing the waters, you know? Yeah, seeing if they're still interested in the series. Mm. Which is fair because honestly, like, I don't know if there is. But I mean, it's Mario, so like, would it sell badly? Yeah, it's never going to sell poorly. However, there are like a thousand and one other Mario games in this direct. So. Yes, we will get to those. <laughs> it's about time we got to look at the new Prince of Persia in a Nintendo Direct. Here it is. It looks great. We're probably picking this one up on the Switch. Yeah. Just seems like a perfect Switch game, you know? I think it looks great. I know a lot of people are like disappointed about it because I feel like people are always disappointed, but I think it looks really good. They're just disappointed because it's not a 3D action platformer adventure. It's a 2D Metroidvania, hmm. man. Perfect on the Switch. Perfect. So next we got three games that honestly just don't tickle our fancy. And if they tickle yours, then Sorry, but we're skipping straight to the Mario RPG. More Mario, more Mario. Honestly, we've already had a look at this, so there wasn't a whole lot they could tell us. I'm super hyped for it already, and we're definitely getting it. We'll probably yeah. do a review on the channel, so make sure you subscribe it if you're just interested looks in that. Classic. I mean, what more could they tell us? We're already sold, so it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. So, trace memory, or is it another code to? Or is it Trace Memory, another code recollection? It used to be Trace Memory, but now it's another code. Anyways, DS Remake mm -hmm. for the Switch. One of them was never released in North America, so you know That American is exciting, cans. yeah. That's pretty cool. I don't know what this is about. It looks like a story-driven yeah. puzzle adventure. I got the vibes that there was some sort of puzzleness in yeah, there. Yeah, but definitely a lot of story. Yeah. This one looks okay. It I, don't, actually, I don't hate it. No, I like the art style and the story sounds like a bit heartwarming, you know, like she's looking for her dad. Yeah. She I finds agree. a ghost. I've got a conspiracy theory. The ghost is the ghost of her dad, but like child version. Kid dad ghost. Kid dad ghost. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so we finally got a story reveal for Princess Peach. Princess Peach Showtime, we got the title as well. And did we get a release date? Yeah, we did. Comes out on March 22nd. That's oh, birthday, that's my birthday. Dude. You should have remembered that. But it actually looks really good. At first we were kind of like, uh, it looks oh, a bit average. I was like, like mm, no. Like the villain's name is Wicked Grape. And I was like, oh, cringe. What is going on it's here? It's like, save the play to save the day. But then it actually looked really cool after that because you get to turn into a whole bunch of different characters, right? The Showtime theme. And each different character kind of brings like new gameplay elements. So it's like switching it up all the time. It actually, it does look really Fun. I agree. It actually sold me on it as soon as they unveiled the second outfit that you can wear. Mm -hmm. It turns the gameplay from an action focus into like a mystery focus. Yeah. And then you're like the cake maker and it's all Patissier, more... Patissier Peach. Yep. And it's more Comfy mini game-ish. Back to action. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. It's, it's cool that Peach has her own identity and it's something different from the rest of the Mario universe. Something that's that hasn't right. been done before. That's right. So I'm all for it. 
And it looks really cool. The visuals look great. Hello, Kitty. <laughs> I've only ever seen Saga on the eShop, and I read it as sober every time for some weird reason. Are you hungry? And that's literally all I know about it. But it's an RPG by Square Enix, so it's probably really good. Tomb Raider, the OGs coming to Switch. Minus the triangle titties, which I found regrettable. Until the very end when they yeah. said you can switch back to the classic graphics. And then I was sold. Laura literally was like, oh, oh, phew. <laughs> yeah, I was like, thank God. Because I don't know, it just disappointed me that they rounded out her, her iconic triangle norks. Yeah, it just wasn't the same. So definitely comment below and let us know what mode you guys are going to be playing it on. Do you prefer the triangle titties or do you prefer the nice round boring ones that everyone has? It actually looks really good with the enhanced graphics. It actually does. And the does. Switch is just like such a machine for classic games. Like if you're a retro games fan and you're going to get a modern console, the Switch is where it's at 100%. Yeah. This comes out on February 14th. Valentine's Day. Oh. <laughs> More Detective Pikachu the stuff. The worst looking game in the direct. Oh, actually, this next game. <laughs> I'm actually super sold on this next game. It's called Trombone Champ. Is this the first time you've seen this game? Yeah, I've okay. never seen it before. But it, it went looks... super viral a couple months ago oh, when it released it looks hilarious. PC, <laughs> And it is hilarious. It's like Power Wash Simulator, you know? It's just like... Oh, Went in viral, terms of viral, yeah. Randomly for something stupid and mundane. Yeah. But for some reason, it's just great. It looks hilarious and chaotic and you can do a co-op with it. And it's probably the only use of the Switch's IR sensor that I exists. Love that. How good is that? Right? It's really good. Because that's an underutilized feature, man. That thing's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you guys saw this video that we did where we featured the night vision camera. Because it's an infrared camera right yeah. there in a Joy-Con, man. They never use it, so... I'm glad they're using it. I don't know how effective it's going to be, but I guess we'll have to see. The point is that it's not. Yeah. This is a perfect Switch game. Mm -hmm. Motion controls, party, ridiculous... Just fun. I feel like it would be chaotic. Perfect, man. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Battle Crush, Battle Royale mythology. I mean, I like the visuals. What more do I say? War Tales, open world strategy RPG. Uh, this one actually looks pretty cool. It's a time console exclusive, but also kind of eh. Yeah. Contra, I know it's a classic NES game and like people love it, but also eh. Also kind of eh. It's Run and guns have just aged badly, in my opinion. Sorry if you love them, but Not they're sorry. kind of average. <laughs> sorry, I know I just like rattled through the last three, but I'm also going to talk about this one because number one, it's called Unicorn Overlord. Mm. Yes, those visuals, man, they were like comic booky and classic RPG. Classic. Yeah, with the big sprites and the small backgrounds yep. running around. Mm -hmm. And I love that. And it's also a strategy RPG, and I'm a sucker for those. Yeah. So I'll probably pick this one up. I think, yeah, I could see I could see mm. you playing it. Unicorn Overlord, yes. It comes out March 8th next year. And I didn't even mention the fact it's by Atlas. Yeah, I'm sold. I'm getting it. <laughs> You've sold yourself. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> we got another look at Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. It looks amazing. We really loved Luigi's Mansion 3, and it looks basically the same as that. So, sold. <laughs> it's going to be great. Unfortunately, I don't think there's going to be a couch co-op option, which oh. is a shame, but... That would be a bit of a downgrade. Can't win them all, eh? That's true. I know people don't like things other than video games in their directs and PlayStation Presents and Summer Games Fests and stuff, but I don't mind it when they throw a bit of news in there, especially if it's Nintendo related. I think the next announcement was actually pretty exciting. Yeah, they're opening a museum in Kyoto. A Nintendo museum, which I would absolutely go and visit. 100%, but I know people are going to be upset that they were talking about that, oh, but get over it. It upsets me that people get upset all the time about <laughs> just little 
stuff. We got some amiibo updates as well. Nur and Mio are coming in November. That's cool. Big Xenoblade Chronicles fan here, so I'm down for that. Sora is finally coming. To so complete the Super Smash Brothers set. Honestly, if anyone has that whole set, can you please drop a comment because that is impressive and I respect you. Right, it's actually kind of tempting now that I know that that's a possibility. <laughs> it's a rabbit hole. We do not want to go down. Because Trust me. who actually uses their amiibos? No, they're just statues. Mm. Let me know if you actually use your amiibos. So does that mean that you leave them in the box or do you take them out of the box? Are you freaking F-Zero fans happy now? Can you please shut up? about your beloved F-Zero. Can you tell I'm over talking Do you about have some beef? Yeah, I do. I've just, for some reason, I've just got this beef with F-Zero now. I I'm know. sick of talking about Where it. Where did it come from? The series died in the ass. Like the first game did really well and then the sales just went boo and nobody bought it. And there's just a vocal minority on the internet that's like, I want F-Zero, but the sales show that you don't. And people don't. Maybe they want it on the Switch. Maybe that's just the difference. It's been 20 years since the last game, man. I'm just saying. Anyway, it's F-099 and it's kind of like Tetris 99 where there's literally 99 of you all playing at the same time, which looks chaotic. Some of the older F-Zeros, look, they're not the easiest games, honestly. I found them quite hard to control. They're, they're quite difficult. So adding 99 other players into that mix, I feel like it would just be absolute chaos but maybe you're here for it that's the point he's right. not he's not honestly this game actually looks pretty good <laughs> oh my god i just wish the like vocal minority of people who are into f-zero would kind of accept the fact that their beloved f-zero is dead sometimes we've got to move on from franchises man sometimes you've just got to let tom crush your every last hope of your favorite franchise ever making a comeback. It's a great idea to have F-099. Fantastic idea. Yeah, it actually looks And people fun. are gonna do it, and it's gonna be hectic, and it's gonna be crazy, and that's the point. And people are gonna love it. Maybe it's gonna reinvigorate the series. Uh, look, if it does, then good on them. Moving on to something that is 100% it. My notes literally say 100% in, and yes, bitch because we've got <laughs> an adorable looking pixel art game where you have to knit. And it's also a League of Legends story. Right. So you know it's gonna be fire straight off the bat. I am so down for it. It's called Bandle Tale, a League of Legends story. And it's it was my highlight, my absolute highlight. I am so hyped for this game. Oh, really? Okay. Absolutely. Cool. I thought you'd enjoy it, but I didn't think it would be the highlight. Knitting. So that's cool. You don't knit. I can knit. You don't. <laughs> Are you an old lady? <laughs> As if you didn't know this yet. You've got this jumper on that looks pretty old lady. Just saying, you like to knit. I'm starting to... Anyway, Bandle Tales is coming out next year. So what about the other League of Legends tale game? There is another one. Song of Nunu? Song of Nunu. It looks pretty good as well, but honestly, I was reeling about Bandle Tale, so... Mm -hmm. I agree, Bandle Tale look, was the highlight of those two. Yeah, I was just like in a tornado of excitement for the whole rest of the League of Legends game announcement, so yeah. Fair enough. <sighs> WarioWare. <laughs> we all know how I feel about WarioWare, and it's back, and... <laughs> she doesn't like it, in case you actually didn't know how she feels about it. I love it. So it is a little bit different this time. So it is called Wario Where Move It. So I guess I should have had some kind of indication of the gameplay mechanics from the name, but it didn't click to me at that point. But you've got to like do all of these poses that look specifically designed to embarrass you. It's just a sequel to the Wii Wario Where Smooth Moves, which you hated, by the way. So Yeah, I know. I don't like so, it. It looks different. It doesn't look different. It's literally it just looks different warrior because, wear. No, it looks like you've got to stand up out of your seat and do poses, whereas yeah, like, we could like play... the Wii game. You couldn't do that in your seat? No. Nope. Oh, smooth moves. Yeah, okay. I guess that, that's got moving in it as literally well. Literally just the, the flat-out sequel. You're <sighs> yeah. thinking of the last warrior wear on the Switch where you controlled a character in-game. Yeah. That was a little less classic warrior wear. Okay. Mm. Mm. 
Still looks like stupid. I I think they're ridiculous fun. Why do you want trombone game and not WarioWare? <laughs> WarioWare's oh, no. great, but I can't get it because I want to play by myself. That's what not, do you mean you can't get it? Of course you that's can. Not we got fun, it last time. But it's no fun playing those games by yourself. <laughs> You're gonna play it with me and then I'll know that you don't actually want to play and it's gonna be this whole thing and then I'll have to sleep on the couch. Oh. <laughs> You've never slept on the couch by my request. I fell asleep there like twice, but that's about it. <laughs> I got into bed later. <laughs> Yudin Chronicles 100 Heroes actually looks all right. It's got this cute little pixel art style, which I'm into. Mm -hmm. I assume it's some kind of RPG. Yeah. Just from what they showed. But it also said that you can farm crops and open a shop. Ooh. So it at least has farm sim, life sim elements in there. So farm life sim, RPG, pixel art. That's a lot of boxes, isn't it? It is ticking a lot of yeah. those boxes, man. Yes. And that comes out on April 23rd next year. I'm not going to lie, I'm into it. Yeah, you've you've sold it to me. Eastwood has been in our backlog for, I've probably had it for like a year. Too feels. long. Yeah. Too long. But maybe the DLC will be enough to make me actually pull it out and play it because it looks like an incredible game. So does the DLC. The art style is perfect. Eastwood was so well received. So yeah. I'm sure we would love it. Mm -hmm. Also, it's by Chucklefish. And they are responsible for games like, I don't know, Stardew Valley. So... Little known games. You know it has to be at least somewhat good. It's definitely good, yeah. And this next one, Wargroove 2... I was kind of like, eh, until I saw the Chucklefish name on it as well. Okay. And I was like, oh, okay. Maybe I then. trust them. Mm -hmm. They're good. They do good things. I think that one looks pretty good too. It's another strategy RPG, it looks like. It looks like what Advanced Wars should have been. I thought the same thing. It's like Advanced Wars, but like still keeping that GBA art mm -hmm. style. And another really interesting thing that they were saying about Wargroove is that you can create your own cutscenes and campaigns that's pretty cool that's really cool yeah that's so it's awesome. like i don't know like rpg maker across advanced wars see i told you chucklefish is good mm. I, I trust them man i might yeah. have to pick that up too did i just sell us on another game i think i did i'm doing well here <laughs> Dave the Diver. I actually, what a name! I know, it's like such a mundane name. But I, I feel like it actually looks like a pretty good game. It does! Dave catches his own fish and then he brings them back to his sushi restaurant, makes sushi, and it looks like chaotic sort of food serving games. That, there are a lot of them out there where you have time limits, you have to like feed them before the Karens lose their crap. I'm sure that the gameplay loop is pretty satisfying. And then you combined crazy chaotic stuff with like the exploratory world yeah. of the, the undersea. Yeah, where you're catching the fish. Mm -hmm. That looks cool. And I'm actually really glad that there's a demo available right now mm. because that game, I feel like it could use the demo to just like Push yeah. people over the edge, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I feel like you're yeah, right. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I'm glad. I'm definitely going to try the demo. Yeah, why not? Mario Kart 8, the final DLC, new characters. We've got Funky, Diddy, Pauline, Peachette. Who the hell is Peachette? I'm sorry, but I've never met her. I don't know her. I agree. I kind of don't know her either. Do you guys know who Peachette is? That is that bad? Probably. We're mad Nintendo fans. But I don't know who Peach it is. It's like Toadette, but Peach. I know. But she wasn't a mushroom. It's good that Mario Kart 8 is finally coming to an end. I kind of feel like that means the Switch might be wrapping up too. And they're moving on to wow. the next Mario Kart. Isn't which that what they say? It might launch with a new Mario Kart, the Switch 2. I reckon. Yeah. It would be the perfect launch title. Everyone loves Mario Kart. And if you don't love Mario Kart, then you are a liar. I did not expect to see Among Us at a Nintendo Direct. I agree, but I was happy about it because I love 
among us. Yeah, Laura's a mad. I'm a big fan, but then there's Laura. I have spent fan. hundreds of hours playing Among Us. I play yeah. Among Us by myself with random people in lobbies. I can't get enough. Can't get enough of Among Us. And now I can play even more because there's a new map. The Among Us must be doing amazing numbers on Switch mm -hmm. because for all places, them to show this new map off here, they could have done this anywhere because Among Us is a huge thing. Maybe not as big anymore, but still they could have had the peak of the bunch yeah i agree it's interesting that they revealed it on the switch because mm. the switch is my least favorite place to play among us because it's really difficult to use the keyboard are you hyped for this new map though yeah so it's called the fungal which is like <laughs> the best name ever it's out in october and i'm definitely definitely going to play the new map we have had some incredible one last things mm -hmm. in Nintendo Direct. Some real big finales. Just recently we've had Pikmin 4. Yeah. Splatoon 3, Bayonetta 3, Xenoblade Chronicles. Like some incredible, huge titles. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean to take a dump on Paper Mario A Thousand Year Door because I know people love that game. And I know it's like the pinnacle of Paper Mario. And if there's one GameCube game they could bring to the Switch, it's probably this one. Mm -hmm. And it's the one I want too. But it's just not quite at that level. Yeah, it's not quite like a like Tears of the Kingdom announcement or something it's, like that. Nah, not even close. It's just a remake. They're yeah. closing out the show with a remake. And look, it's a fire remake. It's a fire remake, but I do think that it would have been more exciting if there wasn't a thousand other Mario things in this direct. Like honestly, it was the Mario direct, not the Nintendo that was actually direct. Two weeks ago. Yeah, well, they've got another one because, like, every it was so much Mario. Mario like, does a lot of stuff, man. I know. He's They're got, all different genres. He's every got game. a lot of fingers and yep. a lot of pies. In fact, all of his toes are in, in pies, too. And he enjoys those pies, and all those pies are good. Do we, <laughs> out of all the Mario games we had, there wasn't one single platformer. No. Not one. And Mario's known for his platforming. Mario is a busy man. He is busier than a one-legged man in an Ask King competition. He is. He is busier than a cat burying shit on concrete. <laughs> Mario is fire. And he's, again, he's got his hands in a lot of pies. He's got a lot of games. We love the Thousand hands New pies. Doors is, again, meant to be the best Paper Mario. I never mm. played it. So I'm super keen. I'm on that. Day one. 100%. But it's just not quite that 10 out of 10 driving the direct home kind of thing. Mm. Which doesn't surprise me because I think we are all kind of assuming that we're nearing the end of the Switch's life cycle. Yes, I agree. In fact, the latest solid release date we got was April. Yeah. Which isn't that far away. So it looks like Nintendo's starting to wind things down a bit maybe. Switch to mid-2024 more than likely i would put money on it at this point yeah i i think so judging by that and especially judging by that one last thing just being a remake mm -hmm. i'm pretty confident that the switch is starting to wind down yeah now. it wasn't the best direct we've ever had but it was by no means crap yeah, it definitely wasn't the worst, I would when say. When you showcase the worst. like 30 or 40 games, it can't be crap. There's always going to be something yeah. for someone. Mm -hmm. So what is that something for you? Let us know what you're hyped for in the comments below. Love to continue these conversations on. Mm -hmm. Maybe you actually thought this Direct was the best thing since bread got sliced. That's fine. That was a pretty exciting day. I'm sure. I imagine being there for that and Imagine being there. <laughs> but you know what? We were here for the September Nintendo Direct in 2023. <laughs> Suck shit bread slicing people. What did they do before? Just like rip it? I assume Or so. just like hung on like the Honestly, whole I think the bread slicing came pretty soon after. I'm not going to lie. Surely it came like immediately after. Nah, because flatbreads came first. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so they didn't need to slice them. No. Yeah. <laughs> 
Anyway, don't forget to subscribe before you leave to hear more bread banter and we'll see you next week. <laughs> we talk about Nintendo, not bread. <laughs> bread channel. Let's be a bread channel. Some kind of bread. Make all the breads. Slice all the breads. Toast all the breads. <laughs>